All right, this is a little bit different from the normal. Uh, this is my take on what I do for my customers every year and I have been doing it for the uh, past 10 years. When I first started, uh, when I had like 10, 12 customers, I would uh, make one of my specialties. And down here in New Orleans, uh, there's a thing called uh, pralines, pralines. And I kind of do a pretty good job doing it. I once had a business uh, with the storefront selling these things, uh, but I don't do that no more. That was one of my many fails, you know, in the past. But I still uh, have that that talent of making it. So I make them, pack them, and I give them away. Uh, even this season here, I've made a lot, even just to sell. People that do know that I uh, I make them, they come around this time of year and they request them. So uh, I do make them, sell them, but for the most part, uh, I love this time of year because I make them and I give them to my customers. And it's kind of like the wild look on their face when I hand them something because uh, in our industry, for the most part, uh, people get the wrong concept of us in the service industry. Uh, our hand is out around this time uh, of, of what our customer is going to give us in the form of a bonus, extra Christmas money and things like that, but that's not me. Uh, I'd rather just uh, leave it at your doorstep and walk away and without even you seeing me leave it and shoot you a text or even when you see the message I have on it, uh, you know where it comes from. But I don't want it to be an obligation gift. so. But for the past 10 years, I have customers I've been having that long, and they know it's coming. It's like to be expected. You know, James going to leave us his candy, you know, and I still have some that don't give me anything for Christmas, which that's even better because I'm not expecting that. I want just the, the feel good of, of just giving somebody something and not getting anything in return. So this is my time of the year here. I get there, I start making this candy like a week before I go back out to uh, do like a clean up right before Christmas. And man, I play old St. Nick and I leave candy on their doorstep. But anyway, I don't know y'all take on uh, giving for the, for the holiday, for the Christmas holiday, or uh, even to your customers, whether it's a thank you letter. I have one new cat that I knew, I just met him in the game, 17, and I was impressed when I actually saw this kid had uh, thank you letters he was giving his customers. Like, man, that's that's awesome. But I uh, don't know what everybody else do, but I definitely give this time of year. You know, and sometimes it's uh, not just candy, but it's I'll take care of that. Trim a couple hedges, I did that uh, on Saturday. Like this lady, I trimmed her uh, her gardenias. Just while I'm there, just knock it out. Another lady, her her landscape. I did those things, and those aren't things that I'm doing. And you want to get a bill in the mail? It's just like, hey, Merry Christmas. And most times it's just to say thank you. I appreciate uh, just being able to work, you know. But that's what I do. I don't know what y'all do, but check out how I handle this stuff. It's kind of odd to see the lawn dude doing crafty things in here like boxing candy shrinking it and actually getting it set up to go most people that know I do it who didn't know I did it it's hard for them to believe that I did what they have in front of them so check this out uh, some short video of me just uh, packing this stuff up and sealing it check it out
amount of gifts going out today to the uh, customers I'm going to service. Yep, I'm cutting the day right before Christmas. Well, three days before Christmas. But uh, there it is. This should put something on your mind. Uh, it's not all about receiving, but giving as well. That's why I love this time of year. There it is. Later. I didn't do a video today. I was at uh, my condominium where there's uh, 18 uh, homeowners there. And I was trying to just do it without them knowing it, which only maybe two of them caught me doing it. But I wanted to do some video of just how I just walk up to each one of these owners' uh, condos and their units and just leave the box of candy like on their windowsill. You know, I, I had my daughter do some crafts to it so they're gonna they're gonna like that you know and i'm not my hand is not out you know and i knew they didn't expect that this is i haven't even been there a year at this condominium i've been there since uh may this year so of course this is their first christmas with me and i know i'm going to get some some good reviews on this one you know and definitely uh, it's going to say a lot about the grass dude but can't wait to hear what that's about. But yeah, I had fun doing that today. Uh, I haven't made all my deliveries yet. I'll do it uh, Wednesday because I still have some more candy to go make. And I'm going to just take pretty much about three hours, four hours just traveling around the city, dropping off candy. You know, some I have to actually go to their house because the properties I maintain is their rental properties and things like that. So, I'm gonna have fun doing that. And I don't knock on the door, I don't ring the doorbell. What I do is just put it there wherever they can see it or uh, put it where maybe they don't see it and just text them that I left it there so that they, they can be on the lookout for it. But that's just one of those things that really give me life when I do stuff like that. Uh, one other thing last night, uh, it's tradition for us, my family, my immediate family to go uh, out to eat Waffle House, IHOP, something like that, around midnight, one in the morning. So last night we went out about midnight to Waffle House, and we planned this every year. And uh, the server, you know, came, took our order and things like that. We already planned to give the server like 50 bucks, you know. But last night was a bit different. So she served us. Uh, the food wasn't all of that. It's a new Waffle House that just opened up this year. Food wasn't all that. We had breakfast. The grits were kind of lukewarm and stuff like that. But understood that's not why we did it. You know, so um, the lady that was uh, preparing a, a meal, she came to the table and she was like, is everything okay? And of course, the natural reaction for us, oh yeah, everything's fine, you know, no complaints. You know, but we all had some type of complaints. I'm the only one to eat all my food, and when my daughter don't eat all her food, something's not right. But anyway, that wasn't the point. So I get up. Uh, the bill was 52 bucks and some change. Get up. Uh, the lady who took the order, who was serving us, uh, she uh, was ringing me up. So I asked her, because all I had was 50 bucks in cash. I asked her, I said, uh, how long does it take for you to get your tip? And she was... At the end of the night, when we cash out the drawer, I'll get it. I'm like, okay, cool. So it's real quick. So uh, I had a plan. The plan was, it was three workers there last night. I said, I can split this deal. You know, so what I did was, I had the 50 in cash. And what I did when, I, when she rang me up, I took uh, 25 and put it on my receipt as the tip. So the bill came out to 77 bucks or some change. And I didn't see her reaction because I turned and walked away. She did tell me thank you and she was happy about it. But uh, my wife said, you should have saw her raise up the receipt showing the other girls that were there. But what she didn't know was I was about to take the 50 in cash and split that and give it to the other two. So what I did, I had my, my oldest kids each hand uh, the lady both ladies, 25 bucks a piece, so they all went home pretty happy last night. And it's not much, but it's something. And definitely let these people know that that there is uh, good people out here that are willing to do good things or even, you know, make your night, you know, a little bit better. You know, 25 bucks can go a long way. Who knows what they were going through, but 
for sure we were a blessing to those uh, girls last night at, at uh, Waffle House. So that's just something we do, and we look to do that on a bigger level one day, you know, like, hey, I'm going to take care of somebody's entire grocery bill or something like that. But that's one of the things that we do, and it brings us a lot of joy. And, like, it's in, like, chills through my spine, and I get goosebumps when I'm talking about what I want to do for people, or even actually when I do it. So somebody I know, uh, he's my friend, but he don't know he's my friend. But he said, the most fun you ever have with money is giving it away. And I believe that, so I can't wait. But anyway, that's what we did last night, and that's it. I'll let y'all later.